Hey, welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I am your favorite professor, Paul Markle, and today we want to talk about helping the new shooter. Now, if you are a dedicated student of the gun and people, your friends and neighbors and relatives know that you, you're the local gun guy or you're the, the gun guy in the family or, or what have you, you're the gun guy at work maybe. And uh, I know I've got, I've got the rep. Uh, I mean, I'm the gun guy in the family and, and so forth. And, and, you know, throughout the years, occasionally I'd have somebody come up and say, uh, you know, I'm thinking about buying a gun or I want to buy a gun and, and, and you know, they're looking for advice. And that's cool. But what I've noticed here uh, in the last four years, three years, two years, one year, and just recently is the, uh, the volume of people or the, the number of people that, I've encountered, I mean, the, the, the Swans driver, the, you know, the, the people at your, your kid's school, the UPS guy, you know, people that know you're a gun guy. These people that uh, normally wouldn't even bring the subject up are coming up there, you know, hey, um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about buying a gun or I want to buy a gun for, to keep in the house or I need a gun for protection. You know, what should I get? I've never owned a handgun before. I've owned shotguns or what have you. And if you're the gun guy, it's easy to start telling them, <laughs> about your favorite thing and about what you love and what you own and what is cool for you. Take a deep breath, let it out, and here's the good advice you should tell this guy. Tell him, number one, you want to make an educated decision. So get as much information from as many sources as you can. Okay. Uh, if they if they don't have any experience with the handgun whatsoever, I would get a 22 pistol into their hands at some point in time. You know, recommend say, hey, do you know a friend or relative or anybody that has uh, a 22 caliber pistol, a semi-automatic, you know, 22 pistol that you can go out and practice with? Okay, uh, that that way they get over the the felt recoil, the boom, all that, and they can focus on doing what's right. You know, doing fundamental marksmanship and so forth. Uh, Suggest that they get training. Say, look, don't just buy a gun because owning a gun just makes you a gun owner. It doesn't mean you know how to use it. There's lots of places where you can get training. And again, do the research. So if you want to help them out, if you want to be the good guy, uh, you want to be the helpful guy, don't regale them with tales of your favorite blaster and don't and, and, and God help us, don't start getting into the caliber comparisons and so forth. Because if they're a brand new gun person, you start throwing 40 Smith and Wesson and 45 ACP and 38 and 39 millimeter and 357 SIG, you start piling all that on them. You, they're just like ah, information overload. Ah, so uh, suggest that they get some information, that they get some training. If they can get a 22 pistol and get with somebody who can practice, if you are a legitimate good dude and you have a 22 pistol take them out to the range one day and say hey tell you what you give me you know buy five dollars worth of 22 ammo we'll spend an hour and we'll shoot and we'll you know move from there but uh, don't regale them with tales of your favorite blaster start them out small uh, suggest that they get as much training as they can afford and that they have time for because once they get into it you know, uh, the first thing that they bought, eh, they, they might have been okay, but now they're going to get something else, uh, and it's not going to be so daunting to them as it once was. So, if you want to really help them out, suggest that they get some training and help them get the training. And for all things Student of the Gun, where are you going to go? You're going to go to studentofthegun.com.